啊。We got these bubble bags because while I was packaging orders, so this is what we originally used to use, uh, but stopped using them because it was cheaper to get bubble rolls, but it was considerably faster to use bubble bags for things. So we've ordered them, but I think I need to arrange my shelves because there's no space for them. So I think I'm going to move the hats over here and maybe put the bubble bags in this section maybe. Or maybe I could put them there because that can all go on the shipping thing. <laughs> has literally just fell off this tripod and done a full roll. I have these locking things, but the locking thing fell off. I think the nut is broke on my tripod. I was just about to set you up and talk to you. I'm not putting you on there now. Oh my goodness. Oh, that petrified me. Holy smokes, that would have been the last thing I needed. Are you okay? I hope this is okay. I'm gonna have to look at my footage to make sure. <laughs> One second. All right, you seem to be working okay. So fingers crossed. This is honestly been the craziest week ever. I think this would have been like the nail in the coffin for my stress levels. I've developed an eye twitch, but I'm trying to meditate on an evening to calm myself down because this studio vlog is gonna be quite different because it's back to just me for the whole I don't even know how long. Well, at least until Mike's back off his holiday, which is t 10 days time. So if you've been watching and keeping up with the studio diaries, you will have seen we've had a pretty rough week. I was in London yesterday and I got back last night and my husband who helps me run the business has been hospitalized because he's got an ulcer and he's been bleeding. But also it came at a tricky time because Mike is also away on his holidays for 10 days, which leaves just me alone to run everything. And I've also got commitments as well, sponsorships, contracts and stuff that I also have to fulfill. It's gonna be tricky because if you're existing to the channel and have seen my older videos, I started out, most businesses start out on their own and I worked like that for ages. And in fact, when I started out, I had a full-time and two part-time jobs. Like I literally did it all. We're kind of having like OG vibes, the original vibes here, where it's just me in the studio 
literally making orders, packaging them all, fulfilling them all, shipping them all. But the problem is, I did used to do it all myself when it was manageable, but we now have built a business where it is no longer a one person business, which means some things will have to kind of give. And I have decided to rein back a little bit on my social media because I have noticed the correlation between sales and social media content. So I am gonna kind of strip back my social media presence at the moment while I focus on my paying customers on catnip and get those orders down. So I'm now gonna get something to eat and then I'm going to make up the orders and then I am going to fulfill them all. But I'm back on the shop floor and it's gonna be kind of a old school vlog where it's just me and you in the studio dottering around and trying to get everything done. So let's get to work shall we? I can't remember how to print mugs in this big heat press. Ways that I make. I've just made them up, I didn't turn the camera on, I'm just currently printing some stuff but how cute is that? Cute packaging but effective. Ta-da! Good to know though. Anyway, you can get them personalised too because we print them to order and make them up. I'm going to put this in a little pile. Ready for packaging! Thank you. 
finished making up everything and now it's time to pack orders but I'm going to have another break because it's around about 3pm and I am hungry again. So I'm going to have a quick 15 minute break and then I am going to get to work on packaging the orders. There's currently 57 orders so can we do it by the end of the night? I have no idea. Let's get to work. guys i did it i did all the orders it doesn't look like there's that many there actually does it but it was 57 orders and i got it all done i will admit i was kind of doubting myself a little bit whether i would actually get the orders done it is now 25 past eight i actually don't know how i've managed to do it because sometimes when we're doing product launches but then truth be told product launches 
the order types are different. They're very big orders normally because people save them in the baskets so and maybe that's why. But sometimes it feels like you're working really, really fast and nothing's getting done where today I decided I was just going to take it one step at a time. I think I've got like potato trapped in my Invisalign. I was just taking it one step at a time, doing my little tasks and to-do lists and slowly ticking them off without trying to rush, without trying to stress and try to create a nice environment. I've had Studio Ghibli <laughs> anime background on all my Macs just to make the environment really nice. I had my wax melt on, I had some nice music on, I listened to podcasts and before I knew it, I've done it all. So it just goes to show that reframing your work really can help like try and make it positive and happy. Cut it down to zero. I, can't, I, can't, I literally can't believe it. I can't believe I've managed to do it all. And I took some photos which I think I'll put up tonight. Oh, and in even better news, Dean has been discharged. So I am now gonna go home, make my tea and pick Dean up. So I'm very, very happy. He's actually wanting to come back to work on Monday. Ah, but now it's home time and I'm pretty hungry actually. I got a really nice meal for tonight as well. So this is gonna feel great. <laughs> Good morning guys, I am in such a good mood. Happy Monday. Look what Dean has just brought into the studio. Dean is back in. Yeah, he's actually going to do all the posts and I've just arranged it for him into US and international and UK because we process it different. So he's going to ship those out first thing today, then he's going to get on orders. And look how cool this is. Look how nice the packaging is. I was like, ooh, I like the packaging. I can't eat stuff like this because it makes me bad. But Flump cereal. I guess it's kind of like marshmallow made. Was made with whole grain stars and marshmallow pieces. Marshmallow made is all lucky charms. I think marshmallow made is like the cheap version, but they're my favourite. Like literally when we got Orlando, Florida, lucky charms and marshmallow made. Ah, oh, so tasty, but I can imagine they're not very good for you. Anyway, happy new start of the week. It feels like we're starting this week really, really fresh. It feels so like almost Christmassy because it's only four degrees here. Uh, so it's very, very cold, but I have a lot of work to do today and I want to work on the Christmas mouse mat. But first of all, I actually have to finish a studio vlog that I started in London. Um, so I actually started that vlog, yeah, in London. I need to finish it off because it was only a few days ago we got back. It's only been seven days. Oh, this literally has gone like, I feel like I've done a lot of stuff in seven days. You know what I mean? It feels like the longest week in history. Anyway. I am going to get to work on the studio vlog and then I'm going to get to work on finishing up the illustration of the Christmas bakery scene. Let's get to work, shall we? Good morning, guys. The first thing I'm actually going to do this morning is I'm actually going to send off some new colours for these flower cards. So if you have been watching my videos and you watch my Pamper Van vlogs, you will have seen that I've been working on a collab with flower cards where you get like cards in a package and I received them in the mail and if I'm being completely honest, I was not happy with the quality of the print. So they sent me through and tweaked the design and the print still doesn't look perfect and flower card have actually said going forward from January, they're actually changing their printers so it should be much bolder and nicer but it seems like such a waste i don't think we're gonna have time to launch the autumn products now and then we've got like witchy ones and i feel like the witchy ones actually uh they're not like too autumnal they're just like magic-y so we can still keep them ones and then i was thinking we could at least try and launch some before christmas but i don't know if you can see this but the line art itself isn't like the best quality it's like too light but then i thought actually i wonder if i can tweak my design to match their printers do you know what i mean so if i make my line art dark because i do quite light line art if i change the darkness of my line art this then actually might look great and then if i'm happy with them uh we can then work on christmas ones I am going to 
going to head off home because it is starting to get dark and I don't want to walk in to the car in the cold and dark. It's been so cold here by the way. And I also want to finish off the mouse mat tonight and I also need to make tea and all the house chores and etc etc. So I don't want to leave it too late. I think I am starting to get cold or the flu so we shall see if I'll even be in myself tomorrow. Which reminds me, I'm going to take my SD cards home just in case it's an editing day because if I do get sick I don't fancy coming in and picking up my SD cards so I'm just going to take some home just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It felt like old times, like being back in the studio. It's really like opened my eyes to how much we've managed to achieve here at Catnip. It feels like it's flown by. Like it's crazy that I used to do absolutely everything like to myself and it, it makes me realize that we have grown a business beyond just a one person band which is great great news but it also has made me realize we need to put some more systems probably in place to make things more fluid and also have like backup plans for when things go wrong i mean i am the backup plan i suppose because i'll jump on orders but imagine if all three were out i don't know but i suppose that's just kind of what you have to do when it comes to it if like an issue arises is in the business you have to deal with that when it comes to it but there's definitely some more uh, things I want to put into place in terms of the packaging that would help me speed up my process I think wrapping every single thing in tissue paper slows us down tremendously and before we used to have these um, bags like sweet candy bags so I'm thinking of maybe going up over to some sort of bag system and keep in the tissue for larger items i'm not sure but i think that will help speed the process up a little bit i remember back in the day of the first ever studio vlogs let me know if you know g and have been around since then i used to hand write every single thank you note and i realized as when my youtube channel started to pick up and my order started to pick up that was completely unsustainable and i think it's always good to reevaluate how you can be more productive but also keep the customer experience top notch like obviously you're a human like we make mistakes on our products sometimes we accidentally miss items but it's having those systems in place to try and eliminate as many mistakes as we can but obviously don't beat yourself up if you do make mistakes we have mistakes weekly daily even but there is human error but there's also systems that can be put in place to help try and mitigate or make those mistakes less likely to happen and also a way to be more productive as a team and I think the tissue paper is definitely one of those things because it takes a long time to like fold it cut it I don't know it's just uh yeah it's a long process for every little order and even even like the little orders which should be very fast orders like stickers take a while because then we have to fold the tissue and I do want it to be a beautiful like experience though for the customer but I think we could get that experience the same if we put it in a nice bag with maybe a nice stamp on so that might be something we look into one thing I want to look into again as well is um, potentially getting more branded tape. We used to have branded tape before and I just stopped using it. It was more expensive and quite frankly we struggled as a business in 2021 and the cost of living crisis and everything and that was something that we cut back was the taped branding and we just added like stickers uh, but I would like to invest in that and maybe buy it in bulk so it's still cheaper and have some branded tape again because I do think it makes the boxes look nice. So that may be something we look into in the future and I'd even like it to be the seasons like I used to so I used to order Christmas ones I used to order Halloween ones I would like to bring that back now um, since the orders are starting to pick up a little bit so I'll see you in the next video when we will hopefully get be getting more Christmassy which will be very very fun and yeah getting to work on the Christmas launch I'll see you for next week's adventure let's hope things go more smoothly for me in the next couple of weeks all right then thanks so much for watching I love you <gasps> goodbye